Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Today I want to show you how to customize this quick poster, Volume 4. When you open it up, this is what it looks like. Got these guides, which you can turn off if you don't want them, but they're just to show you the area that you might not want to go out of with important information. If you want to turn them off, you can just go to View, Show, and Guides, and then turn them off. Or you can even delete them clear guides. But first of all, let me go over the layers. If you have the Photoshop version, you're going to have some layers in these folders. If you have the Elements version, they will not be in folders because Elements doesn't support folders, but you've still got all the same layers that you need. They're just, they're open like this and you don't see the folders. So basically you've got your text option one, which is on, and I'm going to use the little eyeball to turn that off. You've got text slanted boycott and your layers are inside here for that. Turn that off. You've got your bottom text, which if you turn that off, and there's a few layers in there. Then you have your smoke bottom. Actually, this will be turned off. For the horizontal version, there are three smoke versions, smoke areas that you can turn off and on, and for the vertical poster, there's one. It just has more area for smoke in the horizontal, so each smoke layer has a hue saturation so that if you want your smoke to be a different color you can change the color to match your colors in your photo or you can just turn that off and it'll be white or you could do a variety of different colors so you have your smoke left you have a diagonal stripe and a diagonal bottom stripe then we have our soft edged blobs basically for your photos and we'll go over that more in detail when we add a photo. It just makes the photos look like they're into each other. And we have a dark vignette, which you can turn off and on. You have a color layer for the background in case you want to change the color. So that is all of your layer. If you had a full photo that you wanted in the background, then you would add it here. Otherwise, we're going to use clipping masks to add them to these shapes. I like to have my Move tool selected and Auto Select Layer and show transform controls on. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my first image. Let's say I wanted to use this image and let's say I wanted it to cover the whole area. I'll show you that first. So I'm going to come to your photo here and I'm going to grab my image and drag it in. And yours will probably come in bigger but you're going to press shift and drag it down to get it the size you want. And if I wanted this to cover the whole thing then I could just drag it out to cover the whole area view fit on screen and then I can just drag it down and I'm going to turn on the text at the top and the smoke. If that's the look you're going for then you're basically done and have the white if you just wanted to add one photo. Hey that was easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have a creative day.